Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Um, so today I have um, decided to do a quick video on my mod settings and how you can get them yourself. So the video, the title of the video as you can see is how to install it and then after I'm done showing you guys how to install it in case anybody wants to see the video for that um, I'll just go over through my settings and stuff like that. So basically what I have here um, in this setup is I have 5zig have mod uh, plus forge. If you're here to see 5zig mod plus uh, light mod loader um, just skip to the time here. Um, so to install it is pretty simple. So I'm going to close my Minecraft here. All the downloads will be in the description. Oh, my background changed. Um, all the downloads will be in the description, but basically you need to install the version of Forge you want. So for me that would be 1.10.2. Um, it's just the version I'm using. Uh, download the recommended one, uh, just for simplicity's sake. And then um, download the mods obviously you want to use. So 5zig mod would be um, what you need to install first. Uh, 5zig is here. Remember it's 5zig.net, not .com. And then I also installed Optifine and my designated mod, so which is um, Keystrokes mod just in this case to show you guys what to do. Um, now basically what we're going to do, everybody knows how to do this now, um, you're going to go percent app data percent and that will get you to here. You'll go to your .minecraft folder and that will bring you here. I just have a shortcut um, that brings me to the same spot and I recommend you do the same if you um, like to access this a lot. Um, from here, you have to, if you haven't already, create a mods folder, and this is case sensitive, so you just make a new folder, and then you uh, make it mods, so right click, and then you would go new folder, and then you would rename it to mods. Um, this is where you drag everything um, that you have already downloaded, so that would be my 5zig mod, my optifine, and my keystrokes mod. So I just put all those in my downloads folder, and yeah, so I kept those aside. Now what you want to do is in your launcher, um, what we're going to do is we're going to make sure when we go into launch options um, we have the release 1.10.2 or the version that you want to use. So we're going to, uh, I already have it installed uh, basically, so I already have my 10.2 by Forge. But what you would do from here is you would launch Forge 10. Point whatever point 2 and you would just click install client. Um, once you're done installing the client it will say good job, you're ready. You come back to here and this is where you will get the uh, 1.10.2 and it will say forge at the bottom. So release 1.10.2-forge-whatever. And as you can see, this I have this for other versions as well. You would just click that and then you would create, uh, you know, save it, name it, do whatever. And that's what you would do. So you would come back to here and then you would select under here, I would say forge 1.10.2, etc. And then you would just launch that. So it's just 5zig instead of installing it like normal. Um, you just throw it into the mods folder. So as you can see here, we have our keystrokes mod and we are good to go. And now I'm going to go over how to install 5zig with the light loader. Okay, so basically, now for light loader, um, this is a little different. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to do very similar, very similar. But first, what you want to do is you want to open your Minecraft. Again, we're going to make sure that we have, let's go to launch options here, add new. We want to make sure we have release 1.10.2 or whatever version it is you're using. Then once you do that, close out and you launch 5zig. So 5zig, when you launch it normally, will give you this install um, pop-up here. So this install, once you hit install, um, you click add mods. So for in my case, we want to just install Optifine. So we can just click add and then uh, it'll bring up my directory here. We go Optifine, and then I would hit open, and then I would hit install. Um, once it's installed, I'm not going to do that because I already have it installed. Uh, it should bring up an option now in your launcher. I need to stop closing this. Launch options, add new, okay. It will bring up, whoops, 1.10.25 zig mod. So that's a good sign. That's how you know you have it installed. Um, once you have that installed, then what you're going to do is you're going to go to Light Loader. You're going to open it up. You're going to say Show Incompatible Versions, and you're going to click OK. And what you're going to do is you're going to find 1.10.25 Zig Mod, and then once you do that, you click OK. It'll give you an error message, and then you'll click OK. You'll say, Good job, you did it. I'm going to click Cancel because I've already uh, done it. So then you open up this again. And what will happen here? is, let's go launch options, you will have now 
the whoops, you'll have release 1.10.2, light loader 1.10.2, 1.10.2, 5 sigma. All right, so that's the one you're looking for. You click that one. I already have that one under uh, ba -ba 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 -ba, 5 sigma with light loader. This is a really long name. And um, now in your mods folder, you can drag any of your light mod mods in there that they have on their website. And uh, this was already in here, was it? Yeah. So this is already in here after you load this mod, so just don't worry about this. And then we're going to hit launch. Click around the corner there. We're going to hit launch, and hopefully it will work as intended. And yeah, that'll give you a nice starting thing, kind of just like how Forge works. Do, 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 do. Go. All right. So we go to shop boat. And as you can see, we have our um, mini map in the corner. And that's just the map or the mod I chose to use for the demo. And we have five zig over on the side of the uh, top here. And yeah, that's it. So that's how you install five zig with light loader and with forge. Okay. So um, what I like to do is I always like to have a temp mods folder that I can uh, keep things in. So, for example, I have my Optifine and Raze minimap for 1.7 and all the other stuff. So what I like to do is I like to keep um, everything that I have um, in my folders. And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put these in here and this in here because I don't need these right now. Okay, so basically, um, these are my base settings. Um, it's, as you guys probably guessed, 5 zig with um, this voxel map here. Um, I may switch to Forge in a bit, but I'm using the light loader version at the moment. Um, I like the 5 Zig mod just because it's cool, it's easy to use, has a built in armor HUD and everything else status, I think. So, yeah, if you guys want to use it, then a boom, away you go. Now, the pack I use is, let's see, resource packs, is the Huawei Infinite 16x16 1.9. And all I've done to edit that pack is added different zombies variations to it. Um, if you guys want to have your zombie in my pack, you just got to send it to me. Put it in the comments. I don't care. I'll take it. And I'll add it to the pack, as long as it looks good. Uh, I had a couple questions about the saturation bar. Uh, this is a saturation bar. It just basically shows me my saturation. And that's it. Um, other than that... Um, what else do I want to say? Oh yeah, so this pack does not have Gamma Bright. If you want Gamma Bright, all you gotta do is you gotta go into your resource packs. Resource packs. This one, this one. Assets, Minecraft, MC Patcher, Color Map, no. Light Map, yeah. So you go into the Light Map, you just follow this directory here. And then what you want to do is I believe you take these three files, which I believe are all just the same thing. I don't know what they are. Um, and then you just click and drag them in. There's world zero, one, and two. I'm assuming that's for overworld, nether, and uh, end. And then that'll just give you gamma bright. So I'll put these up as well um, in my pack. And uh, last but not least, my shader pack. Where is it? Uh, video settings, shaders. Um, these are the shaders I use, usually this one here and this one here, CUDA shaders, whatever, and Silders. Um, I don't use the Zeus one because I don't like it, but uh, yeah, so that's it. If you guys have any questions about how to install it, let me know. If you guys want to use other things, let me know. But that's it. So guys, thank you very much for watching. I hope this tutorial helped you out, and now you know what I'm using, and yeah, see you next time.